want to take it off like a Brazilian? Weight, that is. I mean, pounds. I needed someone to answer my health insurance questions. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something bloody. We'll show you one couple's ghoulish wedding next. Well, counting calories. I, I don't do that. Do you do that? Do you um, <laughs> no, I, I prefer not to. But. Well, New York has become the first city in the nation to require restaurant chains to post calorie counts. I'll be one of those people looking the other way. I don't need to know. It's I want to be able to eat my Big Mac and Whopper in peace. Now that's that is honesty. Some honesty. Bad Would you have done the same thing? I sure tell the truth. Been. I am on a sack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop right there. Forget what you think you know. Yes, it's a popular port of call. Dance with a live mariachi band, sail with the pirates, or make friends with the local dolphins. With its otherworldly caves, gardens, and picturesque beaches, this Beijing landscape is simply majestic. It's the season for ghosts and goblins. It's also a busy season for plumbers. So be prepared. You're not one of the ones weeded out the next time you're out looking for a job. You've heard it before, but now the hottest city in Florida has a travel survey ranking to prove it. From swimming with the dolphins, to exploring the Duns River Falls, to swinging through the canopy of the rainforest, the island is is truly a nature lover's paradise with unique lava formations, hidden lagoons, and fascinating underwater worlds. Try riding along horseback through the hills of San Miguel. And don't forget the culinary treasures as this is the heart of Mexico's wine country with plenty of vineyards and vintages. One of the stars of NBC's Heroes headlines a new film opening this weekend. Before you sign your next contract for a cell phone, a car, a credit card application, or just about anything, you might want to take a closer look at that fine print. The movie, Amy serves as a surrogate mother for Tina, and it's a clash of ovarian proportions. I don't know what that Samantha means. Harris has more on the funny ladies. Catamaran out to Cayo Arena, snorkel a coral reef in the middle of the sea, or even off-road to the rugged Dominican outback. With one of the most laid-back attitudes of the Caribbean, Freeport is a cruise favorite. Make the most of your day at the beach with every activity under the sun. So make sure to visit Team Orange early and often during this cruise. They'll show you the best ways to explore all the fun out there with Carnival Adventures. Two separate roadside bombs exploded Saturday in Baghdad, killing at least two people and wounding at least 13 others. And a presidential slip of the tongue virtually shuts down a Texas couple's business. It all started with the president announcing a simple mortgage counseling hotline yesterday. Many bosses will probably find employees sneaking peeks during work hours at great deals found online offered by a whole lot of stores today. And if you're sick and tired of running into the same pothole in your neck of the woods, well, there's a chance it might not get fixed as soon as you'd like. Whether filling your car up with gas or picking up a few groceries, the prices are going up this season, and many people have no choice but to fork out that extra cash. But some people wonder about the validity of these personality tests and whether or not they're fair. It sure did, and it looks like it's going to stick around for the rest of the weekend. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Scott Chesner for the details. Nobody really cares about that in Florida, right? They well, just go whenever there's a hurricane, they go to the ocean. And surf. I guess so. Daredevils. You would know. And I'm Noel Alcas Rodriguez. We'll get to that story in just a minute, but first, East Texas is getting some rain. Let's head straight over to the Weather Center and check in with Zach. Good morning, Zach. Shark warnings have been posted for miles on San Diego beaches following Friday's shark attack that killed a swimmer. Not so many people out here now, but earlier today, many people came out to pay their respects to two volunteer firefighters who lost their lives. On old Jacksonville Highway, where barriers, piles of dirt, and real estate signs can be seen just about anywhere. It was probably just a matter of time. YouTube Dot com is now part of a college curriculum. For instance, here at the Salvation Center of Hope in Tyler, many security cameras are in place starting here in their main entrance and throughout the rest of their facility. There's a warning out regarding some products made for young children, a product called the First Year's 3-in-1 Flush and Sounds Potty Seat. People are behind bars for driving under the influence after a rollover accident last night. And for more incentive to give up cigarettes, another study shows quitting could put more money in your pocket. A high school was forced to lock down after a gunman chased a man through the school Friday in Beaumont, Texas, and the chase was caught on tape. Authorities believe the men were involved in a dispute across the street from the school, and the victim fled to Central High School to seek assistance. The victim was found inside of the gymnasium, and the gunman, who was also wounded, was arrested a block from the school. Investigators say they now know the cause of a Tyler house fire. Crews responded to this house on Santa Fe Trail around midnight Sunday. A shooting on the streets of Dallas leaves 
one man dead and another in critical condition. The search for a missing five-year-old boy in Louisiana has ended. As of yesterday morning, those children are now in foster homes scattered across the state. This comes after an appeals court ruled against a group of mothers trying to stop that from happening. A massive fire rips through a 120-unit apartment complex early yesterday morning. And according to a new study, deep pockets can't hurt either. Oh. Researchers say a higher financial status is linked with a lower stroke risk in people between the ages of 50 and 64. They found wealth, meaning the total of a person's assets, was the biggest predictor of the stroke in this age bracket, more than income and education level. The association did not hold, however, after the age of 65. Researchers suggest this might be because those with lower wealth are more likely to die younger than those with more money, leaving the wealthiest and consequently healthiest to survive into old age. Very if that's true, I think I'm going to croak like right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right there with you. <laughs> Crazy? I'm fun. I'm easygoing. Describing yourself in one word, a question you're most likely asked while interviewing for a job, but many companies will no longer take your word for it. Have you ever taken a personality test? No. <laughs> Probably wouldn't do too good. Aha, uh -huh. it's why more and more companies are requiring a personality test. Yeah, it's all right. You know, putting that bad. All employees like Michael Owen at this Dairy Queen and Tyler had to pass to get the job. Do you think it was right on? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much a happy person, so, you know, I do good with customers and stuff. There are now thousands of personality tests available to employers. People Tech is just one of the many. In detail, it describes a person's strengths, weaknesses, and even provides graphs. But some people wonder about the validity of these personality tests and whether or not they're fair. Why can you res discriminate on the basis of someone's personality, whether they fit your personality profile or not? <laughs> Still more and more companies are paying thousands of dollars to use the test, a test that many folks at this Dairy Queen don't mind. If you come in and they treat you bad and they're just like, whatever, then you don't want to eat there. You don't want them leaving the store mad or nothing, you know what I'm saying? visited FEMA and hopes to get money for her damaged property soon. We have been really plagued with this rain and I'm in fear now that I'm, my structural damage is getting worse by the day. She says she's one of the many suffering from last month's heavy downpour. If the rain doesn't stop, I'm in fear of our house collapsing because of the fact that I'm on a pier and beam. The Federal Emergency Management Agency and the Governor's Division of Emergency Management are in Tyler to offer that help. And they will go from reception. So far, FEMA has given out over $130,000 to over 210 applicants needing housing assistance in Smith County alone. It isn't any faster if they come here. It's just that if they need help or if they have a question or they don't understand something we're here to take care of those little issues they have set up a mobile unit here on Fair Park Drive in Tyler workers are on hand to help answer those questions in English or Spanish it's very very easy it's, it's, it's the process so far has gone quite well but it's not necessary to come out here you can get the same help by registering with FEMA over the phone or online I'm not computer savvy I don't do well with the computers. Which is why Dever says she prefers the one-on-one -on -one attention. General public, come in. If you have damage, you need to come and check it out. Check FEMA out.